Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this short video lecture, I will guide you about notes for RCC column on construction site. If you are studying, if you are working on construction sites, so these important notes can help you. Let's get started guys. If you have any question related to this short video, so you can comment, I will respond to you. Guys, you can see the first one is starter thickness should not be less than two inches. So here guys, you can see this is RCC column okay before starting construction of column on the first floor or second floor we are creating the column to provide a proper place or alignment specially for shuttering so therefore we are making starter and the thickness of the starter should not be less than two inches okay so from two to three inches you can keep the thickness of the starter you can, you can uh, make a starter thickness uh, from uh, from two to three inches so you can use normally one to four ratio for the starter okay next guys the lapping length should not be less than 50 d so if you require to provide the lapping in the construction of rcc column guys you can see here this is called lapping okay so this lapping length should not be less than 50 d where d is dia of steel rod steel rod suppose the die of this steel rod is 12 millimeter so 12 multiply 50 okay so you will get 600 millimeter 600 millimeter length of lapping okay so this is the formula to provide lapping length next guys you can see the lapping should not be placed at the same position how guys you can see here this is this is one steel rod this is other steel rod and here the lapping should be not provide same like this as you can see here so so this is lapping so this is wrong way okay so the lapping you can provide like this look at here so this is not at the same place but this is alternative okay so look at here so this is the correct way to provide lapping length Next guys, the tie spacing should not be more than 200 millimeter center to center. Guys, you can see this is RCC column, steel reinforcement, these are ties, okay. So the tie spacing should not be more than 200 millimeter center to center. But normally I'm recommending you guys, you can keep, because we have three zones here in column. Guys, you can see here, H by three where h is the height of column suppose this is 12 feet okay so therefore we have three zones okay here zone a zone b and zone c so these two are lapping zone okay zone a and zone b that's why because these are critical points so you are not allowed to provide the lapping at this position as you can see zone a and zone b so you are able to provide the lapping at this place because here we have bending moment so due to bending moment it makes more problems it provide the crack so therefore you are not able to provide the lapping zone a and zone b but you are able to provide in zone c so therefore guys here the spacing of this uh, uh, the ties should not be more than 200 millimeter but normally you can keep up to 150 millimeter or six inches center to center that's why because of in lapping zone next guys if the size of the column more than 9 by 12 inches so length ties should be provided that's why because if you are providing only one tie inside the rcc column because it can't work that's why because if the spacing is more than 9 by 12 inches so it cannot support the uh, longitudinal bars by the uh, by those ties which you are providing inside uh, rcc column so therefore the link ties are very important to provide if the size of the column is more than 9 by 12 inches next guys here concrete cover should be 40 millimeter or 1.5 inches for each side left right top and bottom okay so these are important to provide because the steel should not be exposed to the environment, uh, especially in RCC column, beam, slab. That's why, because it can be 
uh, rusted if you provide uh, if you not provide properly the concrete cover okay next ties dia should not be less than 8 mm but normally uh, it's also depend on the longitudinal bars diameter so if you are using 12 mm or more than 12 mm or uh, so from 16 to 24 mm you can use up to 8 mm especially for the uh, ties are also for uh, stirrups so this is the dia of stirrups which, which should not be less than 8 mm next one is guys in footing column legs length should not be our minimum 12 inches how guys you can see this is column reinforcement so this is called leg okay it placed on the top of the rcc footing this is the other one so this length should not be less than 12 inches that's why because this is the minimum length okay the last one is guys use uh, normally m20 grade for column construction which ratio is m20 grade concrete ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio three where one part is cement 1.5 parts are uh, sand and three parts are crush or you can say aggregate so guys these are some important notes uh, related rcc column construction on site thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye